guys, welcome back to another episode of 21 Minutes TV. I'm Harry Blackmore, and today I'm here with the current champ, Jake Cortese, and today we're going to learn about his art journey. Let's do this. So like, what do you do here? Like, um, what, what is exactly your background? Yeah, so my background is I work in an architecture practice, uh, Down Farm Architects, we're based in, in Beckham Levels. Uh, we're a studio of uh, 11, 12 people, uh, three dogs, which you've met a yeah. couple of already. <laughs> um, yeah, I was born and raised in Malta, um, studied architecture back there, was always keen into art, getting stuck into any type of you know, competition that came up locally. Um, while I was there. Um, then a few years back, uh, I met Bex, my girlfriend, who was from the UK. Um, and like three years ago now, I moved here. Um, and then actually, I had never heard of or about Beckham before I moved to London. Right. Uh, I just happened to kind of get the job, get, into, like, get on really well with the guys in the office here. Um, and that's how I started commuting. To, like through Beckham every day and they're just starting to like really immerse myself in the, the culture here. Yeah. Um yeah. it's like such a vibrant atmosphere, you know, like people doing their own things, like a lot of creative energy flowing, like even just um in Beckham levels, but there's other other buildings around Beckham which is like very kind of creative based. And so you have architects, you have pottery studios, print studios, artists having their own kind of uh yeah studio within communal space. It's like it, it's like all you have to do is kind of walk out the front door and kind of find all of these opportunities and people ready to like yeah, that you yeah. can tap into, you know. Right. And uh, so, how long have you been in Peckham Levels now? Um, in general. So, yeah, I've been working here for like three, almost three years now. Three years, yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just really such a unique infectious. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's, it's uh, insane. And as you were saying before, like you haven't seen, you haven't really found an area like this before. Uh, you not know? really, no. Uh, it's one of the kind of first areas. I actually got to fully immerse myself into since moving into London. So yeah, it was quite a unique way of experiencing it. And, and like all these, uh, you know, the, the creative uh, industries and, and things that are happening around here. Do you find that influences you and your your work and you Definitely. know gives you inspiration? Definitely. It's as I said, it's like infectious. Kind of seeing everyone trying to push push their own boundaries and seeing how they can explore. Um, not just almost the, the Peckham context, but like, you know, especially like from our end architecture, we tend to tap into, you know, other areas of the, of the country and like kind of being in an atmosphere where you have other creatives also trying to explore how they can, you know, tap into different contexts. It's, yeah, it, it's a very yeah, special place to kind of work within the creative industry. Yeah. And so when you do art, do you find like uh, the styles you produce as uh, an influence from your architectural background? A hundred percent. Yeah. So kind of my day-to-day -day kind of tools, if you like, would be like, like fine liner, pencil, kind line of very work. much, uh, yeah, line work. It's very much kind of pen on paper because uh, that's, that's kind of how the, what we do. Yeah. And kind of draw, drawing in perspective a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Two point yeah, perspective. Yeah. yeah it's kind of, and I guess that's exactly it. It's like the architecture training in the first place is like exposes you to that you yeah. know this yeah understanding spaces drawing out spaces kind of um also like mapping that out in your mapping through these spaces in your mind before putting them on paper you know they're kind of exercise that you have you know you're invited to learn in yeah. through architecture so yeah when i then find myself in say 21 minutes that kind of experience is almost automatically flowing into whatever i'll be drawing yeah. you know outside of that so is it. What does like art mean to you? But you know, architecture is obviously what you do for a living, and that's your, your main thing. But you know, art art so open and different. Yeah, it's such a different yeah. medium and, and uh, open to interpretation. Yeah. And uh, why 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 do you do that? Why do you do art um, as well? Yes. Yeah. You know? That's a good question. Um, what attracts you to art? So, I. I've almost approached it in like the reverse. I'd say I was attracted to architecture because of art. Really? So initially, kind of, yeah, younger so days. So almost the other way around. Yeah, 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 totally. So younger days, I was fully into, yeah, just art from a purely kind of create, you know, making art perspective. So making things, creating more kind of 
freely expressing myself through you know whatever media you mean um but and then you know it, i was started to arrive to a point where i was like where i want to take my art um i was really into the idea of how art can be interacted with kind of how can art be a spatial thing yeah. uh, and that led me to the thought of architecture right um at quite a young age actually it's so kind of yeah i kind of do you like like conceptual art a lot more? Sort of, um, or installations, or you know, physical any, any, art? Any, or any type of art which is uh, kind of interactive. It's yeah. like something that you can immerse yourself in, something that you know you can like really try and relate to. And in many ways, kind of architecture gives you that opportunity to create spaces and engage with people. Uh, and while yeah, like you know, some content in, in some contexts you might not have the freedom to do absolutely anything that you can think of yeah. there's still like a degree of you know what how can i use the parameters given to me in a way that creates something special you know yeah. Um, and yeah I, I guess yeah as i said it goes hand in hand with that initial interest in art and expressing oneself you know, i guess that's the difference between sort of art and design you know mm -hmm. the design you have the constraints mm -hmm. and the art you almost don't and then when you try and combine the two that's when you know you, yeah you it's quite really interesting yeah yeah, yeah. You know? sure. Um, oh no, that's great, that's great. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. awesome guys, let's go. So yes guys, so we're back here in uh, Peck of Levels right now. Um, this is sort of uh, the back rooms of, of uh, where Jake works. And uh, so yeah, we're just going to go through now. So what's this place about, Jake? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, so Peck of Levels is actually a building that used to be a car park that's been reutilised uh, and kind of redistributed as kind of smaller studio spaces and communal workspaces. Um, you have very skilled um, practices in studios. You have people with a background in, say, pottery, like literature studios, other yeah. architects. Um, so it's quite a, a nice group of uh, creatives that kind of all coexist in this space. Uh, and you have spaces like these where people just kind of meet up in their lunchtime, um, yeah, talk about whatever they're doing. It's like yeah, yeah quite, quite a, a nice atmosphere to be in. No, it's a really cool in, is my little institution that's kind of yeah, major, yeah, 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 you know? yeah. was it quite a shock coming to London after Malta or have uh, you been uh, London before? L London is so different. Um, where, you know, in, where in Malta are you from? Uh, so in Malta I was, I'm from Imtarfa which is a small village close to Imdina which is also another small village right. but it's really old. <laughs> 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 it tends to be one of the kind of uh, tourist hotspots. Uh, but no, it, it's a beautiful place. Uh, I do miss the sun occasionally, um, but it's beautiful. I, I've been yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. So it's seven days, not one cloud. In yeah, seven days. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. Uh, so yeah, don't, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. apart from that, um, yeah, I found London to be quite a, an electric place to be in. It's like so. So many things happening all at one go that you know you can practice like any given day if you decide you want to do you know take part in an art, an art battle then you know you can do that and there's there, there's an opportunity to do that yeah. uh yeah that's something that i love and i, I don't think like working in, in the creative industry it's it's like the density of an art community uh, is really helpful yeah and um so you say that you know the art battle is 21 minutes uh you're the current champion uh, are you surprised at that? How did you find the whole experience for 21 yeah. minutes? You know? quite, quite surprised, quite yeah. surprised. Um, <laughs> when I, so when I, yeah, I had messaged you guys, kind of keen to take part and whatnot, and when I saw the list of competitors, the first thing I thought was everyone has you know, a cool street art name, you know, and then there's kind of me, Mr. Square, like full name and surname with capitals. <laughs> like, I, I was thinking like, what, you know, what, what, what am I even doing? Uh, but in the end, as, as we were saying, it's kind of, I showed up there kind of not knowing any of the artists. It was the first time I introduced myself to you guys as well. Uh, and within five minutes you end up, you know, in conversations with all of these artists from different backgrounds. And it's, yeah, it's an amazing kind of, yeah, community of artists to, to be within, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you can win a cash prize as well, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's always good. Bad. That's always good. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> And uh, you know, did you find it like a bit of a challenge? Did you did you did you find like a, were you nervous? Definitely, definitely. Uh, have you done anything like that before? Uh, first time doing anything of the sort. Uh, in fact, typically, just from kind of how how we work day to day, it's a very kind of premeditated 
you know, say you sit down in your own time, everything is kind of very well considered. It takes uh, a long time. It takes a long time to kind of process and, you know, create things. Yeah. Um, whereas this was very much, you know, here's the title, you have 21 minutes, go. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of, it was a, a big surprise, kind of that element of time where you're kind of on the spot. Um, but it makes you even more creative, I think. Yeah. Just yeah. knowing that you need to create something there and then. You feel like there's a lot of pressure involved or? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say pressure actually. Um, I think stress to a certain extent, kind yeah. of the stress of in inverted commas knowing that you need to produce something within those 21 minutes. Uh, but then the kind of the, the atmosphere and generally the people there was kind of so, yeah, such an electric atmosphere that you, yeah, you enjoy going yeah, with the flow. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's just a fun time. Yeah. Wow. That's great. That's great. Cool. So yes, Jake, yeah, well, we're here in Jake's office at the moment and uh, to see all these drawings on the wall here, I just wanted, can you tell us what, what this is all about? Yeah, so the sketches you see here are made from all of the members in the office, really. Um, it's kind of a, a mix and match of different projects that we, we've worked on. Most of them actually come out of evenings where we crack, crack open a beer, uh, sit around the meeting table and kind of let ideas flow out. Um, on like some a new project that we're trying to develop and then getting everyone's input kind of you know it's like five minute sketches where you get people to just get something out on paper and then have to present it yeah uh, so i guess back to the question you asked here yeah that's probably the closest thing i've ever got to the 21 minute challenge in inverted commas which is <laughs> this kind of timed free-flowing um sketching session you like nice nice so yeah, we can definitely see the architectural influence here. Um, yeah, and so you do this every Friday evening? Uh, not every Friday evening, but uh, yeah, pretty often. Kind of, yeah, whenever there's a project that we're kind of uh, trying to develop and yeah, really kind of, kind of like, yeah, achieve something special. Yeah. And all just conceptual ideas then? Yeah, really. some conceptual, some more detailed. Uh, just depends on the project and where, where the project is at, at the time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's great. Yo, no, thanks for having us here today, Jake. We really appreciate it. Hey, 21 Minute TV, guys. Go check it out.